future president. Donald Trump Jr. Yeah, Donald Trump Jr. My question is, how do you uh, support your father for the things that he said, such as he believes that you should grab women by the... He didn't say that. I want to say something. I want to say something. Let me do it. Let me do it. Let me do it. That's a ridiculous question, first and foremost. Because I'm sure you've never said anything bad. Are you mad? Are you mad? I'm sure. But you just call liberal. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back again with a new video. Today, we're going to check it out. Fired up college students get schooled by Charlie Kirk. According to Charlie Kirk, we love kicking us and Candace Owens. This is going to be really amazing. I love when Charlie Kirk and Candace always come together. It's really amazing every time I see both of them together. So I'll let's check this video out with you guys. Let's get right into it. Thank you for being here. What's your name? Okay, um, my name is Quinn Thomas, and one day I will be the president of the United States. Hey! hey. Okay, I love his ambition. Don't clap for me, because after I say what I have to say, y'all won't be clapping for me. Um, I came here not with the idea to yell or to protest or do any of that because I just wanted to learn and hear what other people of opposing ideology had to say. Give them a round of applause for but, that. But, but, but I thought I would be here at something more open where we could all have conversation. I felt like I was just being attacked, attacked every uh, 20 seconds with the language and the rhetoric that you guys uh, use. Like, like Candace, what? Like, like Candace. Candace, I feel like, what, for, for you, I feel like you can't even say anything about the, you're preaching to the black community in a room full of white people. I was at an HBCU you're last night. You're preaching about the black I community in a room. I was at an HBCU last night. Well, take that message back to the HBCU. I already did. I did. It's, we'll it's take, live stream. Well, take it back. So, take it so back. you're wrong. So you, so you just tried to say something that's not true. We, you're trying no. to paint the room as if there's all white people here is not. And you're trying look, to make look, it seem like look, I'm look, afraid look. to go speak to my community. And look, you're wrong. Look, So Candace, that'll be shut Candace, down. Candace, Candace. Hmm. I clearly know that you have t taken this message on the road to uh, HBCU. Last night. As I, learned, as I learned from you, because before today, I didn't know who you were. Um, but what I was saying was, Candace, is I don't feel like you could have that conversation here in a room full of white Because people. of liberals. Because they kept why interrupting you, why us. Why do you feel See, like you we have to be segregated? Why but, do you but, feel but, like we have but, to be segregated but, from white people? But, but back to my question to somebody who I know, because Some I don't president. know you. Some future president. Donald Trump Jr. Yeah, Donald Trump Jr. My question is, how do you uh, support your father for the things that he said, such as he believes that you should grab women by the... He didn't say that. I want to say something. Let me do it. Let me do it. Let me do it. That's a ridiculous question, first and foremost. It's such a ridiculous question. Because I'm sure you've never said anything bad. Are you mad? Are you mad? I'm sure. But you just call liberal bitches, right? But you're mad. You're mad. You're mad. First and foremost, actually, since we're bringing we up HBCU, talk. somebody asked this question and she asked, asked it respectfully because she wasn't, you know, she wasn't trying to be, um, get a bunch of attention, which is what you're trying to do right now. And she said to me, Candace, how attention. can you support, how can you support a president that said that, you know, um, he wants to grab one by the foot? First off, the, the, the left ran away with that and they changed around his words. He said specifically that there are women who would literally let them grab them by the foot. He did say that, correct? And I, I, I asked her a question back. I said, how bizarre is it that we are pretending, as, as people, especially in the black community, that listen to hip-hop lyrics, when all they do is talk about groupies and how groupies will literally let men do anything to them. Basketball talk, stars talk about this. Rappers talk about this in their music. Jay-Z talks about this. Beyonce talks about this in her music, about girls that try to be up on Jay-Z and her man. Now all of a sudden we're all going, oh, oh my goodness, I can't believe that men having a private conversation behind closed doors acknowledge the same thing, that there are women who act like that. So it's a fake question. You're acting like that's not something but that we all know. know. But do you know? He didn't know? say he was going to go around and grab women by the You've taken that and you've made something that's not real and it's not it's true. Okay. He never yeah, said that. Candace. There's also a double standard. Candace? Candace? There's also a double standard here because, by Candace? the way, anyone Candace? in this room, have any of you guys had a beer? <laughs> no, no, all because right. I don't drink. So you guys, you guys are conservatives. So having a beer in high school or college would preclude you from public service later on in life. Basically but if you were the doctors, president yeah. and you were a liberal, you could blow lines all day long and it's not a problem. His name That's is the Bill double Clinton. standard this is of what's out there. Like, this is, this so is you why can do cocaine and be president, right. but if you're conservative, you can't have a beer. But this is why nobody identifies with the left anymore. They act like there's some angel princess. Oh, we would never say that about a groupie. Oh, we would never have a beer. The fact that he was drinking in high school. Nobody identifies them because of just this sort of 
of a thing. Men mm. in locker rooms can talk a certain way. By the way, women talk a lot worse than that. Let me tell you that, okay? Women talk worse than that. And they act like they're, they're, they're princesses and they can't believe that people can have real conversations behind closed doors. That's why your party's losing. Wow. Okay, this students right here is, is rude. Number one is arrogance. Number two, and he's a smug. <laughs> this is really serious. Um, I've never seen Charlie Cook this triggered i have never seen him this triggered him really bad the college student right they called him donald trump jr damn i have never seen charlie kirk this triggered ever since i've been watching his video he has been triggered but not this instance this really got to his nerves this pissed him off damn he was trying to coordinate himself this student got Charlie bad because Charlie was triggered right there. He was really triggered. And the student was really silly and stupid. Number one, because his point of the view right there is, is hypocrisy. Number one, that, that's, that's what I'm going to say is hypocrisy. Because he had a misinformation of what Donald Trump said and he's coming right here to say it, whereas the statement is not correct. Number two, he said he's trying to put um, Candace always down that she have she can't speak out the way she's talking to white people around. She can't speak such such way to her community, which is segregation on his own. The stu the this college student right there is arrogant. He first did his speech right well that he's trying to learn and observe and get new. Um, feedback of what people are trying to see. He was his conversation at first was actually nice. Charlie was uh, giving giving him a round of applause, but his what his what was coming out from his lips was actually stupid. Damn, he really got to Charlie. He got to Charlie Kirk bad. I have never seen Charlie this this triggered never. And I love how. Um, Candace always was actually coordinated. She was prepared. She's no such students. She knows such college students who, who are smug, who are ignorant, who just come there to just shade them. Because the student right there came to shade Ch um, Charlie and also embarrass Candace Owens to bring her down that she can't speak up in her community, which is, which is, which is bad to hear. But Candace was actually prepared, and Candace always corrected him on an instant. He said, no. He corrected him on an instant, and I love that. This student right here, guys, I, 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 at first I, I thought he was having something sensible to talk, but when I was hearing him spit out things from his mouth, words from his mouth, he was... It's a smoke. That's full definition, it's a smoke. And very, 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 very arrogant. Comment down below, think about this video, give us a thumbs up, share this video with as many as you can. I also love the um, other hosts who were there, the, the man at the right hand, who I try to stand up for Charlie and Candace Owens and speak out from there. Also, the lady, I, I, I said close to Candace Owens, she was actually quiet, but I love the man who spoke up and he gave an example of um, drinking. I, I love how he stands out from there. I, I love that. I really appreciate him standing out for Candace Owens and also Charlie Cake because they keep on coming for this too. They just want to bring them down. People who are ignorant. And that student is an hypocrite. That's how I'm going to call him a hypocrite and also a smug. Comment down below think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. I know I was kind of like faster because I was pissed off by the students. Hope you guys understand me throughout this video. Um, pardon me if, I'm, or if I was too fast. It was kind of like triggered me and myself. Because he called Donald Trump Jr. It was referring to Charlie Kirk as Donald Trump Jr. Okay, give us a thumbs up, guys. I'll see you guys on the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch, in my bed. I got scales all